I'm Grace, 18 years old, singer-songwriter from Brisbane, Australia. I always had a very musical family. My grandparents were singers, my brother is a singer, my mum can kind of sing, but just mainly has like impeccable taste in music. Ever since I was a little girl, my mum was always playing soul and Motown records, you know, artists like Etta James, Aretha Franklin, Gladys Knight, Smokey Robinson, and that's just what I fell in love with as a, as a little girl, you know, and I still listen to that every day and I think it's definitely carried on in terms of how I create now and what I'm inspired by sonically now. You can hear that I'm inspired by soul, you can hear that hip hop is an element, there's a little bit of R&B with this pop as well, I think it's kind of like a little concoction. Hip hop is at the forefront of culture right now, you can't escape it, it's everywhere. The hip hop artists that I like, like Kanye and, and Jay Z and Nas, you know some of the big, some of the bigger guys. Um, when you when you hear them talk about what inspired them, that they were the records that they grew up listening to. You know the great the great soul singers. So, and it's sampled in in their music, and that's definitely I think why I understand hip hop a little bit. I think Australia has always had a great music scene. It's very much like the UK in that sense. I've always felt you know, it's important for artists to be able to write their own songs, perform live, and it's not just about a, a picture-perfect, like, cookie-cutter pop star who's been made and crafted by a label. It's, it's authenticity, and, and it's artists like Sam Smith, Sia, Ed Sheeran, they're perfect examples of that. We actually cut You Don't Own Me about a year ago when I was 17, uh, which is the age that Leslie actually recorded it. The message in that song is timeless and that's why people relate to it so well. And I think that people now, 50 years later, can still connect because it's a feminist anthem, you know? It's, it's very hard for a female to sing along to those words and not feel empowered or strong. And, and that's why I wanted to get involved with it, really. It's, it's definitely something that our, this new generation needs to hear again. And um, I'm honored to be part of that.